Welcome back to our channels, Warriors. We are still growing. If you haven't had the warden of Mule Creek State Prison, Patrick Big Ears Covello, who is having us drag inmates and use unnecessary force at RJD from the committee room in ADSIG all the way to A Yard, smash that subscribe button, which is documented. <laughs> which is documented in the incident log number, motherfuckers. Smash that subscribe button. Go ahead and have them smash it right now. First and foremost, let me give a shout out to all the patrons. I love you. You're the heartbeat of this channel. Believe me when I tell you, you're the only thing keeping this going. Stay tuned for your well-deserved shout out at the end. And if you haven't already signed up, make sure you hit that link in the description below. You're definitely missing out. This episode right here, before I get started, let me give a shout out to Defend Christ Clothing. Shout out to the youngster doing his thing. Uh, prayer gym mode on and they sent me a shirt for my daughter man as a gift i appreciate them shout out to them i'll always support those that are doing the right thing especially at a young age man what a beautiful thing to see uh, especially in this chaotic world with that i hate to shift gears a little bit but as you can see days without a murder right i'm going to show you guys the what's the why's the how's and the who's from my perspective Mule Creek State Prison investigating death of an incarcerated. Mm. So let me reread that. Mule Creek investigating the death of an inmate as a homicide. October 19th. Today is October 20th at approximately 0507 hours. That's 5 a.m. for you non military and law enforcement folk. <laughs> At approximately 10.20 p.m. Hector, what do the shift starts? The shift starts at 10 p.m. Luckily, that young correctional... Now, again, I don't have details, right? I'm going off of my experience. You show up to work at 10 p.m. It is in your best interest to walk around and do a security check of the housing unit. Make sure every inmate is alive. Hence, this is why it's good to do. Got the young CO walking around 10, 10 p.m. with his hokas on. He knocks on the window. Hey, 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 Jones. Damn it. Fucking Jones is looking a little cold this evening. Hey, 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 Jones. God damn it. Jones is looking a little stiff this evening. <sighs> hey, Lidaraga. Wake up your Sally, man. ACO, that's going to be a problem. What do you mean that's going to be a problem? He's never going to wake up again, CO. <laughs> do you mean he ain't ever going to wake up? God, nah, nah. Well, I should have called in sick today, son of a bitch. <laughs> Heck, you're a callous motherfucker. Anyways, my fucking Jones, R.I.P. Jones, Ed, uh, Emil Jones. You didn't deserve to go out that way, man. And then who do you have on the bottom? Your suspect, Jeff McCumber. Heck, why you say Jeff McCumber's to blame? How is Jeff McCumber to blame? I'm going to break it down to you guys, Crayola style. First of all, at approximately 10.20 p.m., officers were conducting security rounds. There you go, security checks. I didn't even read that. That's how... That's how good your boy is, man. When they found inmate Emil Jones unresponsive in his cell. All right, you guys keep seeing that word unresponsive, right? What does it mean? It just means we want to see you moving like this. Hey, I'm alive, right? Anything, a little finger. I'm, you can't move a finger if you're dead, right? Anything, man. Uh, you would see during count time. Count time is when you go make sure the inmates are fucking alive and in their cell. You would see that one cellmate would be closer to the door and would have a shower curtain up, a sheet. He would have a sheet up because he'd be taking a shower, bird bathing, pooping, whatever, privacy. And it would be count time. And I would tell that inmate, hey, let me see your celly, right? And the celly would stick his fucking hand out, let me see, like this. And, and, I, and to me, to me, that was good enough, man, to me, to me, right? Because I know no dead body is going to fucking be able to do this, Um. It is some are supposed to be standing count, 1,700 hours standing count to make sure they're standing, right? Because you can't stand up if you're dead. I personally did not trip. Me personally, as a CO, I mean, I'm telling you, I, I wasn't that type of dude. 
Right? As long as I saw your fucking hand move, I know you're alive. I can keep pushing. That's all I give a fuck, man. Make sure you're alive. Right? Well, heck, do you care if they get rehabilitated? Motherfuckers. <laughs> this is my story, your story. Right? Another inmate, Jose Lizarraga, Bravo, Bravo, 8469, was housed in the same cell. Well, Hector, how do you get a black and a Mexican celled in the same cell? Ah, that's probably S and Y yard. S and, no, S and Y yard. Sensitive needs yard. <sighs> Mule Creek State Prison for, has never been known, well, from my experience, as one of those gangster prisons. Not like. Sentinella, Kelapad, Ironwood High Desert, Salinas Valley, Pelican Bay. It doesn't have never one of those softy prisons. Now, is it really a softy prison if you're getting killed in the cell? No, no. But I'm just going to I'm just kind of give you the reputation. I want to say the Menendez brothers. One of them was uh, housed in Mule Creek. There you go, Hector. You're obsessed with the Menendez brothers. You're trying to. You're trying to get paid off of their name. No, no, I'm not. It was just a fun fact, motherfuckers. A fun fact. One of the Menendez brothers was housed at Mule Creek State Prison. So, okay, let's see what, let's see what Jones, 57. Was received from San Diego County. I think I remember Jones. On October 17, 2023, not even a year ago. Motherfucker didn't last a year in Jeff McCumber's California Department of Corrections and Rehabilitation. That's a fact. From here on out, I'm going to be speaking facts. I've actually been speaking facts, but you're going to see it how I see it. Jones, 57, was received from San Diego County on October 17, 2023. A year ago. One year ago. For a 16-year sentence. Not a death sentence, Jeff McCumber. Right? Here's the thing. You guys are going to start to understand that they know, right? And this is what's going to scare you guys as young COs. They know. They know what they're doing is wrong, right? It's not that they don't know. I used to think to myself, how can they be so stupid? They're not stupid. Your higher-ups are not stupid. They know exactly what's happening. The sad part is they don't give a fuck. They don't care. Now you're probably thinking to yourself, who cares? There are inmates that are dying. Who cares? Motherfucker, you're next. You are next. You are next. The same system that is getting these inmates got is the same fucking system that's going to get you got. You already know that. <laughs> you have good old Lizaraga, 43 years old. Motherfucker looks shot out. No disrespect. I don't want you to kill me either. Um, Lizaraga, 43, was received from San Joaquin County on December 23rd. For, to serve a 16-year sentence. Both of these homies were serving 16 years. 16 to life. Chill. Shout out to you, man. I saw that video. Please don't paint me in a negative manner. I'm on your side. Chill. Um, attempted carjacking, evade, or attempt to evade peace officer while driving recklessly. Motherfucker turned in a carjacking into a murder, a homicide. So anyways, Hector, why do you have a problem with this? Okay, eight minutes in, that's a whole entire fucking backstory. Day count for a murder, back to zero. All right. I just told you, your higher-ups know what is happening. They don't give a fuck, right? Why? They care more about promotions than they do human lives, okay? This is why it bothers me. You guys know I was in the Army back in the day when the Twin Towers fell. It said, send me, send me. All right. I went to Iraq, 2004. You know, my job was to kill people, period. There is no, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I'm not going to fucking make you feel better in your heart. My job was to kill people, period. In a, <laughs> in a team, in a squad, in a platoon-sized element, right? Company-sized element. And they taught us different ways how to do it, tactically. Although we knew... What our job was, we were still humans, man. We didn't become unhuman. We just became really good at killing people. We still had that human element of, of uh, appreciating life, appreciating life. It sucked to, it sucked to observe loss of life, right? Whether it was an uh, insurgent, that didn't suck so bad, right? 
whether it was an Iraqi civilian. That sucked, man. You know that they shouldn't have got got. Definitely if it was an American soldier. Human life is that, man. Life, life, life. Murder is never okay. Right. Never okay. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go into politics or political. Was it okay for you, Hector? No. That was a fucked up situation. Right? I'm not making excuses. Believe me, I've faced my fucking demons. I still face my fucking demons. I value life, right? So it utterly fucking disgusts me when you have let's just go hold on, I don't want you guys to see what I'd see. Hold on, let's see. see our, mm, oh fuck. It utterly, utterly fucking disgusts me when you have introducing the California model magazine. CDCR has embarked on a once in a generation transformation. This fucking fake fucking facade. Facade, right? Because if it wasn't a facade, then you wouldn't be having the murders in the cell. All right. At such an accelerated rate, would you be having murders in prison? Yes. I mean, that goes without saying. Motherfuckers want to get killed. Motherfuckers do so, want to do some killing. But do not tell me that by changing the names of inmates to incarcerated persons, and I don't even give a fuck what you tell me because I'm not believing you. I'm just showing the masses what I see. The truth. The truth. Not my truth. The truth, Jeff. You're a fucking sky, spineless coward that's pushing a false narrative pushing a false narrative or do you think you're in the clear because you said there will be some hiccups right 52 bodies bodies i don't say it's not easy to kill somebody but it actually is 52 bodies that's a hiccup to you that's a hiccup like the fuck (laughs) though i don't give a fuck what your logic is you sold out you're evil prayer GM mode on, right? You sold out to the, you sold out. It's disgusting. You didn't even sell out because you were never about the business. You were never about being righteous. And again, if you're a CEO, you're thinking, who gives a fuck? They're just inmates. You're next. 100% you're next. That goes without saying. I can see it. If you guys can't see it, look at the CEO that got fucking slashed in fucking uh, Corcoran. No disrespect. And what did what did uh what did CDCR do? They removed those two ISU lieutenants from Corcoran because that video got leaked allegedly. Those two lieutenants had nothing to do with it. Those two lieutenants have nothing to do with the video system at all, or the truth getting out. You ask me, they should go back, right? But again, that just goes to show you, if you're those two lieutenants, I'm sorry that that happened, honestly. But you need to know what system you work under, which I think you already knew. You already got removed from ISU. You might as well go full throttle and just give me all your information now. You're the real man. The man that walks with the Lord, Jesus Christ. One day at a time. The man who's voting for Donald Trump on November. Nah, just kidding. I know you guys don't appreciate my humor. I love you guys. 13 minutes in. Eh, so shout out to the big homies wherever they're at right now. They're doing their thing, man. Who gives a fuck? They're making money. They're making moves. So is Jeff McCumber. Who gives a fuck? Except you would expect it from one person, not from the other. Right? (sighs) Well, Hector, why did that inmate kill his cellmate? I don't know. Put him in a pooch program. I don't know. Put him, let him play foosball. I don't know. Let them play handball and RHU. Maybe that'll fix them. Give these inmates more, more, more tablets, more hand jobs, plumber. More. Put that hot ass chick from Calipat amongst all those inmates wearing unauthorized, inappropriate clothing. Man, they don't have a staff entrance officer at Calipatria State Prison that couldn't look at her in the eyes and say, "Ma'am, you gotta fucking go." You got to go change. Go to the fucking trailer where the inmates' family members go. Get that shit out of here, you hoochie mama. You ain't nothing but a hoochie mama. Hood rat, hood rat, hoochie mama. Fucking bitch. 
Yeah, heck yeah. Well, we tried to tell her to go back. The sergeant and the lieutenant and the captain said to let her in. Well, document it. Document it. Document it and then shoot it to me, man. You guys, I got to open up your minds. <sighs> With that, this episode was sponsored by the following patrons. I love you. Keep pushing forward. I hope you see what I see. If you don't, I can't help you. Here we go. Karina, pretending to be gangster when you're a pedophile. Hoop it or lose it. Kern Valley State Prison, bunch of scary keyboard warriors. <laughs> a la verga. Go. Oh. Oh. It got hot in here. Hold on. You motherfuckers are wild. I tell you guys, you guys are on the same team. You guys are on the same side. Don't do this. Please don't do this to each other. It hurts me. It's breaking your Uncle Hector Bravo's heart to see you guys tear each other apart, man. <laughs> Kern Valley State Prison, bunch of scary keyboard warriors. Nah, man. 89 made me. See you was gone while 69. Hey, I need another shot of Chanate, man. 803609. You're a long way from Starbucks, homie. Is it me? Is it me or is the YouTube getting a little hot on the block lately? El Batman Americano, Ali, Tarvin, let me get a crack. <sighs> Ramiro de Leon, the hound, Miss R, Milkers, Danners on my feet, La Primera play at your own wrist, Sachanate Warrior, William, <laughs> Theo, <laughs> that one got me so good in the morning. 949 Les Madrosos, Menace to Society, A Rod 310, Chris Lesniak, Nisi B. I don't know, I'm not the regular. Brian the Lone Specialist, the homie Turtle 13, Pachanga 209, Darlene from Santa Ana. <laughs> F your mandates, write me up, VSP Eddie, Sabatino, Adaberto, Mercenary Mindset, any reason I can't hold you, Fontaine, Dixon, McCrary, there goes the watch with the homie hookups again. <laughs> oh shit, you guys are on point this morning. What's today, Sunday? You guys don't rest, day of the Lord. Holy shit, there goes, day of the Lord, holy shit, wow. There goes the watch with the homie hookups again. Yeah, man, I'm a fucking... You guys are grimy. The whole place is grimy. The whole place is corrupt, man. <sniffs> Program time. Hey, I'm just medical. Carnalito. Treatment not time. And force fit. GG. 11. Bravo. Don Chicharo. Shut the fuck up and make it wink. A la verga. 760. On to page number two. Amazing Grace. Miss Raw. G Ride. Vote News. Come out. The prison psychologist. Fuerte 84. Zeus. Do you guys see it, though? You guys see how the California model is not working? You guys see that? There's no way you're having these murders these often, and it's working. There's just fucking no way. That's common sense. If it was working, you wouldn't be seeing these fucking murders. They would, or that escape attempt at Avenal State Prison yesterday. Wait till I make an episode about the escape attempt yesterday. Heck, there was an escape attempt yesterday, and you didn't tell us, my boy? Yeah, there's a lot I don't know that I don't tell you. Or there's a lot that I do know. But I have to protect the interest of others. <sighs> I have an eight-hour chrono. Put me out six self. A wall like Monty. One bad yard perro. Cherokee cat. Stop that car. Be advised, there's no gatehouse seal. Loco Moco, the big bad wolf. Raider 62. L Eli. CDCR is ran by a bunch of fucking idiots. Hector, is that a Patreon name? No, I just made that up. Gerardo. Rigo SD. Pelon 1205. Who's doing the pipe? Denise, the real McCoy, not the fake McCoy. Shout out to the real McCoy. Always being supportive, just like all you guys. JB Smooth, the Pogue in the six pack. CO, Narcan, don't work. My celly is my celly is down, man, down. Motherfucker, try chest compressions. Here, here's my badge. Ricardo, John Wick, Abuelita's Journey, Abuelita's Irma. Um Keep pushing forward, Rodrigo. Giant Manhattan Pizza in Anaheim. Go check them out. Ricardo, Mel adjusted. Ragtops 5.0. Carmine the Pitbull. Lori, the homie. CJ Zavalza. EOP Whisper. Fuck your 602. Las Vegas Flights Live. Viva Mexico, cabrones. Shout out to the Paisa Felony Channel. No shirt, no shoes, no dice. La Reina, Tony, El Skid, the OG, Hobie Cat. Lead with love. Hobie Cat, you ever think you'd see the department like this, man? Albert 12, Lieutenant, continue to reach for the stars, brother. Thank you, you too, man. J.I. Esquiel, Nova, 
Linda onto page number three, the retired CEO, Robert Chavel 66. Hey girl, pop me up so I can give you some OJT. DOJ needs to investigate associate ward in May and the homie rags. If you have not already signed up for that Patreon, make sure you hit that link in the description below. You're definitely missing out. Also, if you haven't checked out my new channel, Hector Bravo Unhinged, go over there and subscribe. Love you. Keep pushing forward.